Hello. Um, today I wanted to kind of tell you a story about my condition, I guess. Because, you know, I kind of want to um, help other people who might um, have the same thing um, to, you know, be acquainted with uh, what this illness actually is and what it does and what it means. I have an illness that is called psychosomatic disorder. Now, what is a psychosomatic disorder? A psychosomatic disorder is a psychological condition involving the occurrence of physical symptoms, usually lacking a medical explanation. People with this condition may have excessive thoughts, feelings or concerns about the symptoms, which affects their ability to function well. People with psychosomatic disorder usually don't report overt symptoms of psychic distress. Instead, they believe their problems are caused by medical conditions. They tend to visit healthcare providers frequently to get tests and treatments, often not receiving a diagnosis, which may lead to frustration and distress. Psychosomatic disorder is sometimes called somatic symptom disorder, somatic symptoms or somatic pain. So to put it simply, I uh, have this disorder which uh, causes me physical pain even though I do not have any physical symptoms. Those physical pain symptoms are not actual physical pain, but psychological problems like stress or other kinds of anxiety problems. Let me just show you a demonstration on how my brain tries to handle the situation when I get my psychosomatic symptoms. Ah, I have neck pain again. It's so terrible. It annoys me to death. I cannot do anything with this pain. Oh, it's so annoying. What is it? Why doesn't it go away? I've been to the doctor before. He told me that I don't have anything. Hello, it's me again. Your psychosomatic disorder. I'm here to torture you because you did something that I don't like. Mm, for example, this one problem you have, mm, it's getting on your nerves, huh? Yeah, it's pretty stressful, huh? Mm, I'm gonna show you how stressful it really is with this neck pain. Hmm? What do you think about that? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> this is psychosomatic again. Oh no, <laughs> what do I do? Mm, I don't know how to get rid of it. Well, how about you start by solving the problem that is stressing us out, huh? No? It's too hard to solve right now? Well, I guess you'll have to live with the pain then. I fucking hate this bitch-ass disorder. It's always the same. Why can't I just get rid of it? <sighs> the therapist said that it's never gonna go away. The only thing I can do is just, you know, do something else and hope that my brain forgets that I even have this symptom right now. And that's pretty much the only thing you can do when you notice that you're getting a psychosomatic symptom again. Set your focus on something else, do a different task, think about something else, mm, or just, you know, do something completely different to get your head off your symptom. Because the other um, solution would be to get rid of your problem or anxiety, but that is mm, sometimes not really possible. The biggest problem with psychosomatic symptoms is that you never know when you actually have a physical symptom and not, again, psychological. So you always run to the doctor and uh, hope that you're not actually dying, but, um, well, you know, most of the times, like 99% of the times, you're completely fine and it's just your anxiety spiking and almost killing you because you have your psychosomatic symptoms. But don't worry too much about it. There are a few things you could do when you notice that you're 
feeling a symptom coming around. Try and focus on your breathing in and out, slow and steady. Or go outside and take a stroll. You could also just um, try and focus on a fun task like drawing or maybe watching your favorite series. Or if you have someone around, go talk to them about your symptom or your problems. Or about anything really. It could help a lot because you get focused on your conversation. Oh, and if you start worrying about me, don't, don't, you don't have to. Um, I learned how to deal with my symptoms, as you can see. Um, they come up every now and then, but they're not too drastic. I know when to go to the doctor and when not. I know when to focus on something else. And I know when my anxiety is currently spiking and making me have those symptoms. So I hope this video helped someone out there, because I know I needed it when I first experienced this. And um, yeah, until next time.